Hello, Makaisa. I'm a Filipino homeschool mom based here in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. So I'm with my four wonderful Amid kids and uh, we have a blog and a YouTube channel where we share meaningful and purposeful activities to inspire and encourage others to do the same. I'm also the homeschool coordinator for a school in the Philippines called Prince of Peace Integrated School, as well as a GIFT team member. So I've been part of GIFT for a couple of years now. And if it's okay, I can share a little bit about one activity that we'll be doing for the United Nations Day. Absolutely, please. All right, so Prince of Peace Integrated School is a school in, in the Philippines. And it's actually um, a school that my mom built and so what we have here is an activity that we have made for United Nations Day and I just wanted to share a bit about it since most of the time United Nations Day would be about dressing up to the country that you have chosen and then doing a parade and similar things right and of course that is a wonderful and fun thing to do but instead of that we are going to have a prayer for the nation's program. So I'm using here Wakelet to put everything together. And it's basically as simple as that. It's a prayer for the nation's event. We are relating the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals to this project. And students will be divided into their grade levels, but the activities would be um, according to their groups and levels so we call the preschool to grade three the little light bearers the grades four to six the truth troopers and grades seven to twelve as our kingdom keepers so as a christian school we want to be able to continue promoting um, faith in education and therefore prayer is the center of this activity and the challenge is to know more about the country that each group has chosen and find out the major problems in that country related to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. So in here we have the links for the videos that can help teach the children about the UN SDGs as well as some teacher resources that are available on the internet is from the United Nations website itself. And then for the bigger kids, if they want to do a more in-depth country research, there's a Canva link here to a template that they could fill out. And it gives them already a pre-made template where they could input like the country language or uh, tourist spots or um, traditional foods and clothing. And they could put that in into their own uh, research. But mainly as well, it's a... Um, the objective of this is to have prayer posters. So for the younger ones, it's prayer poster, but for the bigger kids, we are encouraging to do a video. It could be a talking video of them actually saying the prayer, or it could be uh, a montage of pictures or videos that they have the prayer um, together with that uh, submission. So all of the prayers will be collected and a link in Wakelet. So at the end of this activity, we'll have a collection of this um, output from the students from preschool all the way to grade 12. And hopefully um, we'll have an online program to help the other kids also do this if they need help with understanding more about the SDGs and how they could relate it to the country they've chosen and understand really what it means to, to be involved in, in figuring out solutions. That's also something that we could do as well. So we want to be able to promote both understanding of the UN SDGs and integrate faith and help them apply it in their learning. So just to show you, this would be how the final screen would be. So this would be the collection per grade level. And each um, 
box here, it's, it's a collection. So like, for example, the sample prayer posters, this would how it can look like. It can be hand-drawn or painted by the students or like what is done here, it was made in Canva. So that's it. And Lavelle, you're always doing something new and something creative. I don't know how anyone can keep up with you. And Thank your you. kids are twice as bad at it. Twice as bad at always coming up with something new and creative. And I don't know how they keep up with them. So. I'm just happy to be trying new things. And I'm very grateful that GIFT is a platform that helps us share about those ideas. 